brought by Temple Binai Israel in Laconia from April to July. Your nose will likely perk up with the aromas coming from the kitchen. The members work tirelessly for months each year, mixing, baking, cooking, and steeping old family recipes for their annual Jewish food festival. We make all the 100 quarts of chicken soup and matzo balls. Jewish food is more than anything comfort food. Um, most of our recipes come from Eastern Europe. Our grandparents, most of our, our congregation are Eastern European descent, which is called the Ashkenazi Jews. So they came from Europe and they brought the recipes that had been adapted from the various countries. From Kanish to Kugel, Borscht and Blintzes, these tried and true recipes have people of all faiths and nationalities looking to grab a plate. We like to say that our recipes that we use for any of the Jewish foods, from our brisket down to our rugelach, are all based in those older generation to generation recipes. The day we visited, Team Blintz was hard at work with some veterans at the helm. kind of the captain of the Blintz team, okay? I'm, I'm the old lady in the group here. I've been active with, with the food festival for about 25 years. I've been making them for, since I got married, because my grandmother said, you gotta learn how to make them. <laughs> and that was 66 years ago, so. It's a lot of blending, a lot of measuring, and you really have to be exact. You can eyeball, but it it comes out too thick. You've really got to measure so that it's the right consistency. And if it's not, I hear it from the people that are baking. And the key to this recipe is that the leaves, the blechele, as Marilyn said, the blechele are very, very thin, and that's the key to this recipe. And then the filling, of course, has the farmer's cheese and the cream cheese, and it's, it's a really good, outstanding recipe. It's not quite what you get at the stores. The festival even has an official Bubby and Zadie, Yiddish for grandmother and grandfather as mascots. In this capacity, it's to dress like a Bubby. I even have on um, little Bubby glasses and um, this Bubby hat. This station, we are wrapping, right? But it's, we are wrapping and packing and the packing you get six pieces when you order i'm also a folder and a scooper <laughs> putting the filling in yeah but they don't they don't let me actually cook it's the food that's the most important aspect of this we worked a lot on delivery systems we're a small tempo we have to get more efficient in how we do things we make thousands of items, hundreds of pounds, and so the processes are important, but in the end, it's the customer eating the food and the quality of the food that really counts. Ladies, this is the last batch. <laughs> this festival looked quite a bit different when it started 25 years ago. It was knockers, so we called them knockers, yeah. And we just decided we're going to have a, a, a yard sale, and with it we'll sell some knockers on the front lawn. And we put sauerkraut on them, and they were a huge hit. So the following year we expanded, and it, this is what we have now, is this huge enterprise that takes months and months to put together. Now the orders are all done online, a pivot that started with COVID and the team has decided to keep. Went really well. Well, guess what we figured out? That was a lot easier then converting the social hall, setting the tents up, having all these people coming through, all the cleanup, all the preparation. We went, hmm, this is kind of nice. Ask 10 people what their favorite dish is, and you'll get 10 different answers. Canicious. The latkes. Everybody knows latkes, right? Because they're potatoes and Hanukkah and all that, but we eat them all year round. The blintzes. Because I know that I was part of the preparation. I think the knishes that we 
kind of finalized the, the plan on last year and uh, the potato is a potato condition, there's a meat condition, we grind up brisket and we add vegetables and potato. I love having access to that deli food that you don't get in this neck of the woods. You know, that's great. So you'll just have to try it all. And don't worry, there's enough to go around. And so this has kugel. I make all the kugel. I make 41 kugels. Members of this synagogue, the Jewish Food Festival is so much deeper than a fundraiser. It brings us back to our roots. Yeah, exactly. You know, we all exactly. remember our parents, our mothers, or our grandmothers oh, and yes. grandparents uh, making these at home. Yep. It really does bring us back to our roots. The community really loves what we make, and they look forward to it every year.